Now my next guest said, oh, it was an emotional farewell, wasn't it, to Wimbledon? I think everybody was in tears <laughs> last summer after 30 years presenting at the tournament. Now, former tennis champion Sue Barker, she's sharing her life story in her new book, and she joins me now. This is just great. <laughs> it really is. Um, I feel I know you very well now. <laughs> <laughs> and it was your mum. Your mum sort of inspired yeah. it, didn't she? She did. She always wanted me to do a book and I sort of really didn't want to. And yeah. then she was 100 last year wow. and she got her lovely card from the Queen. I, I lost her in April this oh, year, yeah. sadly, but sh she had dementia. And in some ways this last year, going back over all the scrapbooks, all the photo albums we had, right. was actually a, a wonderful year to have with her. Because although she couldn't remember a lot of what was happening now, she remembered everything of from course. years ago. Yes. And it was a lovely sort of year to spend with her and, and finding out all what happened in the childhood and everything. So we sort of did it together. That's so, lovely. Uh, yeah, That's it really was a, lovely. It was, you yeah. were such a trailblazer. I don't think people <laughs> realise how different it was. You know, you went from being a player, a very successful player, um, to being a sports presenter, and I've just think, oh yeah, that makes sense. It was hard, especially yeah. for women. Well, there was only other, one other woman doing it, Helen Rollison, who did a Friday yes. afternoon show. And there was only one other former athlete doing it, who was Bob Wilson, who was doing Football Focus. Right. So, it, it, you know, being a woman and being a, a former athlete, it was sort of not, you know, it, it wasn't supposed to be, but no. there was a wonderful man who came over to uh, start Sky Television called David Hill, who gave me the opportunity and said, I want you to be a presenter. And uh, without his help, I, I wouldn't have had it. But, uh, I, you know, two careers, Lorraine, that I've absolutely loved. Yeah. I mean, to have one is great. To yes. have two, I'm very, very lucky. I know, but it was so emotional when you said goodbye. <sighs> but, Sue, it was almost as if you didn't know how much everybody there loved you. Did you? I, absolutely I mean, not. We love you so much. And it was really, I mean, you could tell, because you are the ultimate professional, <laughs> ultimate professional. But even you uh, shed uh, a tear. Of course she did. I, 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 I lost the, the centre court. Um, um, standing ovation was without question and I'm going to get emotional even thinking <laughs> about it now the greatest moment That's of my career beautiful. by a long way and uh, I was crying and I was and I, I thought I've just and I looked at Roger Federer because well you know he's why wouldn't you look at Roger Federer um, but he um, <laughs> I remember him saying that I made him cry when he won his first Wimbledon and that was his greatest mm. moment. And I suddenly thought, I don't want to do a Roger and cry <laughs> on my greatest moment. So I tried to hold it together. But without question, that was the, uh, the greatest moment and it was something that I will treasure forever. Oh, it was beautiful. And what I love about the book as well, as well as some brilliant photographs in here, amazing. <laughs> but also that golden era. Mm. You know, when you were playing, Chris Everett was playing, Martina Navratilova, all of these incredible women. And Absolutely. that, and, and the, I mean, you, there's a picture oh. in here of you with Rod Lever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Rod hero. Lever, Ken Rose. Well, of course, Mac was there and Borg was there and Connors. I mean, it was a wonderful era. But I wouldn't have had that opportunity, again, talking about being lucky. If Billie Jean King hadn't won the Battle of the Sexes in 1973, we wouldn't have had a tour. That's and true. we wouldn't have had an association. So my, my, my coach phoned me up and said, now she's won that your hobby has now become a career. Because oh, suddenly wonderful. we had sponsorship and, and we had a tour. We were playing in country clubs in 1973-74. By 75, we were selling out Madison Square Garden. Wow. And that's because of Billie Jean, God Chrissy, gracious. Martina, yep. Yvonne Goolagong, Virginia, all of those, I mean, great friends, but also, you know, and still friends today. And it that's is, what's special. You can special. tell, yeah. you can tell. And you, What's, what's lovely about this is uh, the amount of people that you've met, the amount, you know, you're steeped in the world of tennis, you know so, so much about it. Um, one of the best moments, would it be Andy Murray? Oh. When, because I, I'll never forget oh, that. In I will life. never forget that. I mean, I would have, obviously it would be oh. brilliant to be there, but watching it on the telly, I mean, I think that particularly the whole of Scotland went bananas. Oh, every, but the whole of everyone went bananas. Went bananas. It, it every... was, but it was lovely. It was so nice. And that's the only time you sort of went off piste a little bit. I did. I got it. in awful trouble with Wimbledon <laughs> because Wimbledon had asked me in, in the early 2000s to do the on-court interviews and, and to read out, you know, and I have a little script where I have to say, the, the winner of and the gentleman, yes, very, very, very Wimbledon, <laughs> the, the winner of the gentleman singles trophy for whatever year it is, is so and so. And I suddenly I looked over at Andy and he was crying. I thought, and I could hear oh. on Murray Mount, the crowd were going mad. There was such a buzz around Centre Court. I said, I can't just read this. So I said, We've waited 77 <laughs> years for this. I just felt it needed something oh, it more. Did. And the crowd went nuts. So oh. Andy was in floods again. It was but lovely. no, that was the highlight for, for all of us. He, he was amazing. The pressure he oh, was under I don't know how was, he, I, I don't know how he did it. I and to really beat Djokovic, don't. you know. 
the Iron Man of tennis. It was exactly. Yes, that made it just all the better. Yeah. Everything just came together <laughs> and it was did. fantastic. Now, what's it going to be like next year? Will you go to Wimbledon and have strawberries and cream in a pims and watch it? Definitely. Yeah. Yes, I certainly <laughs> will. It be will. Weird? It, it will be strange? extremely weird. I, I, even this year, the very I always go in the day before Wimbledon and stand there and just soak it all up, you know. And I, I thought, I won't be able to do that. I won't have a pass to be able to get in the day before. Surely, <laughs> surely you will, for goodness sake. <laughs> but uh, I'll miss it terribly. Oh. I, I, you know, I, I wish I was 30 years younger and starting it out. I loved the job and I, I didn't want to give it up, but I felt it was the right time and yeah. to walk out with my head held high, which I was able to do. And the BBC, BBC Sport gave me the most wonderful send off. I couldn't have wished for anything more. And, and I, you know, they did offer me another three years. So, you know, this yeah. was very much my choice. It um, was. And I think you're right. I think you know in yourself, let's go on a time. high. Yes. Let's go well. I'm, I'm loving it. It's wonderful. Yeah. Everything is amazing. Yeah. And it's all, and there's no, it's just all good. Exactly. And right. Yeah, well, I didn't know it was going to be like that, but it was. I look back on it and it was just... And I've got so many fabulous memories oh, of and it. And they're so. all in the book. <laughs> all these great <laughs> memories are right in here. I mean, you don't need to even... I mean, most... Obviously, we're obsessed by Wimbledon, but you don't need to even be a huge aficionado of tennis to really enjoy this human oh. story. Oh. You know, it is a, it's a great story. And retirement, are you travelling? Are you yes. doing all the things you wanted to do? We are travelling, and I've got a feeling Mr Ross King is going to be travelling with us. We've he been will. friends for years. We go back a long, long way, almost 30 30. 30 plus years. Yeah. My husband and I go on holiday, the doorbell rings and there he is with his suitcase <laughs> up. No, no, no. My, my husband and he, we're such good friends and he and my husband have a similar sense of humour. But he turns up for breakfast in old vintage tennis kit just to surprise just, just me. Just for fun. As he does. I love you it. know him. I do very well. <laughs> so, congratulations on calling the shots. It's out right now. Thank you, Lorraine. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you.